look what Trump just made welfare recipients do, those days are over. President Donald Trump, while campaigning during the election, promised to give Americans a hand up instead of a handout. For far too long Americans struggled as jobs were shipped overseas and more and more opportunities vanished. It has become increasingly more difficult for people to find good work to support themselves and their families. All that is changing under Trump. But another roadblock often prevents Americans from finding good work. Millions of Americans have been infantilized by government handouts, allowing them to get cash from the government rather than work. Already Trump and numerous states have brought real reform to such programs as food stamps. Now a new measure will make sure leeches to the system are cut off for good. From Conservative Tribune In yet another effort to roll back the Obama administration's legacy of increasing Americans' dependence on the government, the Trump administration is looking toward allowing states to impose work requirements on Medicaid recipients. In remarks this week before the National Association of Medicaid Directors, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator Seema Verma said the president supports measures that would help recipients move up, move on, and move out of the program, designed to help low-income Americans. Believing that community engagement requirements do not support or promote the objectives of Medicaid is a tragic example of the soft bigotry of low expectations consistently espoused by the prior administration, Verma said, according to the Washington Times. Those days are over. Verma defined community engagement as working, volunteering, going to school or obtaining job training, the Times reported. Every American deserves the dignity and respect of high expectations, and as public officials we should deliver programs that instill hope and say to each beneficiary that we believe in your potential. Verma expertly lays out her argument for work requirements. She makes it clear that the last administration's policy set low expectations for Americans. That was a form of bigotry, because Obama didn't think Americans were unable to work for their pay. As if anyone, regardless of race or background, isn't capable enough to earn their keep. The left expresses this kind of subtle bigotry all the time. They treat minorities, women, and other groups like children who cannot fend for themselves. In contrast, the Trump administration has actual respect for all Americans. People who are in need will not be denied help by these new requirements. They will only provide a path for Americans to get off government dependency and start living for themselves. Shouldn't have that always been the goal, the goal, 